It's finally Friday. I'm Donna Ruco, and you're back on the list. A Tulsa comic book writing team lands a national deal that could pave the way for a giant footprint in Hollywood. Erin Christie has the top three stories you need to know around Tulsa. At number one, Rexodus. Two Tulsa fathers just launched a comic book series created with their kids in mind. The coolest thing for young boys is dinosaurs in space with guns. And Rexodus signed on with Dark Horse, a leading comic book publisher with names like Oak oh, Star Wars. The team created this massive eight-foot marketing tool to send to San Diego's famed Comic-Con. It's the mecca for storytelling. And so we're going to go out there, we're going to take this little guy and see if anybody notices it. At number two, the return of the heat. Head to Broken Arrow's Taste of Summer, Bluebell's annual tradition. Nearly 20,000 people are expected at the fair style event, including all you can eat of your favorite ice cream. Fine candy, it tastes so good. Taste of Summer at Central Park on Main on Saturday. At number three, Mary Poppins. <laughs> Ahead of the family classic playing at Guthrie Green on Monday, let's have fun with babysitting service seeking sitters. Is there anything that Mary Poppins does that would not equate to modern day? Meeting up with a random guy. Jim Jiminy, Jim Jiminy. The chimney sweep guy. <laughs> Jim Jim Chirut. I don't think that would happen nowadays. Does a spoonful of sugar really help? The medicine go down. No. I don't believe that because most families don't let their kids have sugar. Mary's patience, creativity, and imagination is still alive and well. And all these ladies do bring a giant bag filled with games, arts and crafts, and noise putty. <laughs> Mary Poppins would not, not approve. Not do that, no. She would not approve she of is farting. She anti-farting. <laughs> now you are caught up in Clued In around Tulsa. I'm Erin Christie.